gets the, uh, brings it back just in time to be able to dodge the crush. And now here comes the initiation. Ice Blast is going to come on through. Looks like they want to be able to pop Swindles, and they might be successful. Aloha Dance doesn't actually have his ultimate, so they have, don't have enough burst damage. Meanwhile, Roshan finally is going to go down. Yoku Grab that has the opportunity Wait, to pick the, it up, but oh no! Name? He needs to drop something, and he's not going to be able to pick it up. Flip oh Sunset my picks God. up the ages. Yoku drops the ball. G now going to be targeted by the Doom. He's going to fall as well. Virtus Pro. Quite literally crumbling before our eyes. FNG just lucky that he didn't get rooted there by Chess here. And that one, Yoku now gets spotted by Swindle. Got that in this room. He also sees FNG to jump in, manage to get the stun on a hot skin. But that kind of initiation is only going to leave you open to the glimpse. And sure enough, FNG gets pulled right back in. The Ice Blast comes out. But Virtus Pro, it doesn't do anything. Complexity will just keep on moving forward, it seems. All right, so they'll push mid with this. Oh, uh, never Oh, mind. whoa, whoa! Limp! He almost gets bursted out by the finger of death. Nice! Push back there with the bear, but Yoku is still going to be able to come forward with his BKP, but now he's been ensnared, rooted up, has to ro slowly run himself out of this fight. The Supernova goes down. There's surely no way that Virtus Pro can take this one. They're all trying to deny Yoku, but they don't get it. Blink still goes down. They're going to be able to pull back G as well. Three down from Virtus Pro. What happened? That fight, that initiation from FNG. Play full team fight. Yeah, exactly. Um, they're looking to take another fight, though, and they're very spread out. There's only two heroes here. Uh-oh, FNG not able to do much there. Lincoln is immediately broken, gets Dragon Tailed up, and Yoku in some serious trouble, immediately gets ensnared as well. He will end up going down. The rest of Virtus Pro, though, are going to enter in through the right-hand side here. The Ice Blast immediately blows up. Swindles unable to get off his ultimate. Now G managed to get a Dragon Coil as well, and still able to get out of Static Storm. The two heroes on the side stuck inside the cliff while FNG goes straight for Hanskin, manages to burst him down. Aloha Dance gets the control on on the limb. They really want to be able to bring down this bad boy, the Supernova, well positioned, but I don't think it'll change the fight too much. The stun may delay Virtus Pro long enough for Limp to be able to get away, but FNG reinitiates now. It's another stun on Limp, but he just proves to be too tanky, and now Virtus Pro are the ones who actually overextend themselves. Slowly but surely, they got chipped away, couldn't actually kill the the the, uh, the Dragonite, and now they all have to run away at low HP. They only lost G's yeah, That wasn't quite the timing there for the glimpse. Now the initiation comes out. Swindles is going to be focused down. Not gonna be able to get up the tube. No, we can't quite get it. Yoku now keeps on going with his BKB. Supernova is used, but Yoku runs out of the BKB and now held by the kinetic field and the static storm combination and taking him out. BKB or buyback is actually gonna be used by the clinks as well as the lion. Complexity just hope to be able to now that they force that get out of dodge. But G is looking to catch somebody, but he desperately, but he's running into the spirit pair. Then spirit pair actually doing a lot of damage. Loha dance immediately gets rooted up. Is gonna die now. G is gonna be dragon tail. This could be the end of Virtus Pro. They don't have buybacks on three heroes. They've already lost second lane of racks. And Complexity say, damn, Roshan, damn Aegis. We can just go straight through, take the tier fours, and force out the GG right now from B. Pretty straightforward fight at the end, just initiating better than their opponents, getting some kills, backing out, and then look for another good opportunity. He's got Dragonite like that, and he's got BKB. He doesn't have to fear those initiations as much as he did before, as long as he doesn't get gone on first. Once he's got Blink Dagger, it's real straightforward. Blink stun, everybody follows up. Very reminiscent of what VP was doing at the early stages of the game. And towards the end there, Quill just had way more farm, and they were playing way better, initiating stronger, mm -hmm. and they just had better they team fight as well. They're gonna run into him, but it's just not gonna have enough burst damage to deal with him right away. They have the stone gaze out, and complexity are frozen in place. Now, yo, they managed to get the glimpse back, still catching Yoko here, but the rest of Virtus Pro are coming in. Yoko is eventually gonna go down here, but VP can still get an advantage as they dream coiled up to almost burst it down lift. The bigger of death is enough. Up with the extra bit of nukes, they get that kill. Double for FNG. Now he challenges Swindles to a duel. Now gets your spike as well. The stun and Swindles gonna fall. A third hero down from Complexity. Make it four or five. It's now D Freak. It's gonna be chased down by FNG. Hoskin, nowhere to run to either. A dead end for him, and that's gonna be a total wipe. Virtus Pro manages to respond beautifully to the smoke gank of complexity. They're showing up their defenses. They've got the ward already laid out. So when the smoke pops, Swindles will see something and will choose his initiation accordingly. They've already got the Doom on a limp, though. The kick comes out for the Earth Spirit, landing up both Swindles as well as Hanskin in the background. The silence goes down as well. Swindles totally ineffective in this team fight, and so is Limp as he's dealing with that Doom. Now the Dream Coil. Complexity totally being manhandled here by Virtus Pro. They managed to get off the Supernova, but it just doesn't matter. One bit. It gets the Doom kill, but Virtus Pro still managed to trade once again. One 
one for five. Speed. What a they might try to grab Razor here. They're going to go in. Jump in, manage to get the blink on the limp. Swindles intercepts with the three man crush, but the Doom is still down on limp. All they need is just a clean retreat now, but Complexity still going to be caught by Swindles. He gets a little bit low, down to half HP. The Supernova is helping. Curtis Pro going into this one, still hit by the Supernova, but they manage to get the coil again, stalling up Complexity to retreat in. No fear, just doing so much for this Earth Spear. Disabling so many heroes, getting so much damage out over time. Complexity are still going to lose three despite several things going their way. The three man crush, the dominant Super lead being gained by them. But again, Complexity, though they have to fight, they're going to make the initiation. Complexity do get the two-man crush, but that doesn't seem to make a diff much difference in the past as Yoku tosses the stone case again, preventing Complexity to be able to follow up on that initiation. Another crush with Swindles. Now the Supernova does this finally change the race. Yoku, he's going oh, for the egg. No. They managed to kill it. Limp, he's still got the Doom on him, and Complexity have called it. They've called the GG, and the crowd is on their feet here in Moscow as Furnish Bro keep their hopes alive. And it's the best Victory. celebration possible. Dota underscore friendly underscore color underscore B. <laughs> what? I, I don't know, must be All some right. motion or something. I don't understand it. But uh, a really impressive win for VP there. That is that is the VP I know and love. When they play like that, they deserve to move on. And they're going to push it to a game three. A better late game still managing to win the team fights one to one now in this series. I'm sure our analysts, they definitely didn't expect that That's one. Pretty much everything is out of take. Validate right. starting out with the death ward. They think they could do this one, but the Ravage goes down. Swindles, those are going to take his chances, but he's still caught by the primal roar with Ravage. He swindles is hoping to be able to save us, but it's not enough. The magic move, new damage. VP is enough to be able to take it. The fight oh, goes the to on. There goes the call. Lim's going to take on one. He's looking for a low hot dance, and he doesn't quite have the mana to be able to get it. And now he does. Takes out the Oracle. FG. Make it three, be not limp. Unable to get over that cliff. It's gonna stay on Yoko instead. It's Verdict oh, thought of pickoff was gonna be the way to start this one, but it actually turns into tears for them as they're waiting on the fifth hero to go down. Jump forward, another call, triple kill for limp. So it's like there were <laughs> well, the attacks are, I guess. That's that's cool. Yeah, and we saw it. it was oh. Like, oh, that's a C. Oh dear. Pull back with the last though. Limp's gonna try and intercept with the call. Will be able to grab no fear, stopping that death ward. Chessie goes for a couple right clicks, but he still ends up going and Lint misses the calling blade. Things are working out for Complexity and wants out his team fight, and it looks to be going even worse. Now as the rest of BP start coming forward, G is going to be able to find the roar on his deep break. Ravage oh, big comes ravage. in. Complexity going to try and turn this one around with the freezing field. It's all right, outside of range, and will be stopped by the flame break. G tries to run out, but is stopped by Lint. KB activated with the stone gates going out. Caught multiple heroes there with that one, but the damage just really isn't seem to be enough. Virtus Pro may have overestimated their team fight power. Now they need to be able to get the hell out of here, but Aloha Dan can't really save Yoku. He's continuing to go for run licks, but not able to kill anybody here, and will eventually get popped just like that. Complexity. It costs them a buyback there from uh, Chessy. He's a lumberjack, but he's rapidly becoming more of a stonemason. I never knew I wanted carry to my life so bad. <laughs> he slowed down, takes a pittance of damage here, but Dusa. Okay, four staff save. Keep that mana intact. Limp going for the next round. It's going to be Chess. He was able to finish mom, but they get an initiation. Now pulling back Limp, dropping lower and lower, but a four staff gets him over the cliff, and Yoke can't keep him in place. These do manage to get the roar. Oh, roar, it's for the candle now. Swindle the landed to get a Ravage. Only clips from the FNG, but a refresher Ravage will be all the better as they get for Limp with the call. One, two, make it three. He starts to change. He's down, no fear, buyback on FNG, the rest of Birdies Pro, they know they have to get so much out of this fight, but Complexity, they're like, just get out guys, get out, get out as fast as possible, and it's a clean retreat, they don't lose a single hero, Rex, full buybacks from BP. It's actually, it's really hard on a single target, because it's going to reflect physical, you could potentially kill her with this, and her armor is actually not that high, and he's got AC. I Crimson Guard 2 to be used to call on Yoku, start pulling him back into the MP, and it is successful, pulling him back from his middle, already down, the first Ravage going down, and they gush up Yoku, immediately the Oracle responds with a false promise, as well as DKB being used, a lot being blown by Virtus Pro, but it's still getting so much, that's going to be limp, they keep him around this middle tier 3 area, and will be able to, oh, the Ravage initiation back in, but no, he wants the name, it's from limp, he's going to go down, but it doesn't matter, a couple of have already gone the damage out, Chessy starts tripping forward, they have five back on the axe, and they want to finish the game, take it out the they have right here on the ground. Complexity. They're gonna go for it. They take out Jay. The Oku. Pick up your divine rapier. Save your life. No, it's picked up by No Fear. They need to be able to kill No Fear somehow and actually get the divine rapier back in the hands of Yoko. Fine. They managed to get called. OG as well as No Fear both gonna end up going down. Yoko, him against the world with some buybacks coming out now. But got Yoko, it. He gets back in the face. Will be able to pick up the 
fight rapier and oh complexity start retreating away another call epic is gonna be the target already down to half hp and jesse wants to be able to finish him off and he is successful two members down down permanently and three without buyback Ver pro on the edge here for epicenter oh that cast it's fine on time jesse close by but the tornado allows them to be able to disengage and they might go back in to axe Ace the cheese. He's the opportunity. Eat the cheese. Go for Yoku to disable the silence. Yoku gets the help, but Aloha Dance is able to respond in kind. Balls from keeping alive. The BKB activated. Lin Maldix is actually doing a ton of damage. Slip will go down again. That's two minutes on the clock. Now complexity. Gotta get the hell out of dodge. They can't afford to lose any more heroes with one down for so long against the Divine Rage. The axe, the double ravages, or even just the invoker getting the chance to right click Yoku. They can't afford to let complexity determine how this fight's going to be able to start. FNG goes to the jump on Chassis, but the Tornado immediately puts a stop to that one. BKB activated, now the callback, but also get a last one to Dwindle, but he just gets blown up. Chassis right clicks him down so damn fast, and Yoku can't actually get enough in return. Maledict is taking down the limb, but he'll be looking healthy in another 10 seconds time. 60 more seconds on the clock. The bottom lane of Rax is actually being threatened by just creeps alone. Complexity, they don't care. They be able to end this game. Tier 3 already down the mid lane. Swindle starts jumping forward with the Shiva, slowing down some of these heroes. There it is. Force tap forward. Managed to get out the Ravage. Yoku is actually pulled up by Lip as well. And now the Ravage goes out of Yoku. Out of mana. Out of HP. He's dead for two minutes. And Rizro will finally take it out here. Complexity took their time. But they secured this win. Air top as they sit to almost an hour long match. But will perk us here at Epicenter. They were not messing around this game. And no. they had a very funky draft. But they got so much early game control that completely kept VP in the base. They starved him out, they eventually take some teamfight wins.